This is Marissa Lenti, and you are about to watch a Dice Junkies gameplay video. This is Blood X, and welcome to another Dice Junkies gameplay video. As always, we hope you enjoy. Alright, this is Blood X coming at you with the game review. Today we're looking at the game Second Extinction. Uh, it's a pre-release game, so there are some bugs, but what's interesting is this one actually has achievements as well. I hope that when the game actually comes out full, that they'll fix some of the issues I have with it. But um, let's go over some of the game content and we'll uh, look at what we have. So, uh, you have uh, a tutorial, which is a basic tutorial, and it's a standard shooter with standard functionality and standard controls that we see in a traditional shooter. You have free roam expeditions. And then you have the campaign item. Campaign, these choices here, and there's an achievement associated with completing each of these. You have an armory, which you can go to your weapons. Now, what's interesting in this game is you don't upgrade the character, you actually upgrade, upgrade the gear. So, for example, I've been using the minigun. As you can see, I've upgraded this a couple of times. Throughout the game, you'll find components from killing dinosaurs, and that's what you'll use to upgrade the perks and also upgrade the items here. So if we go to another gun, for example, the scout rifle, you can see that I need research to upgrade, but I also need to have research to add tokens up here at the top. So if we go back to the minigun, you can see I've added all the possible tokens up at the top, but I still have spaces left over, so you can't actually add it to all spaces. But uh, once you get enough of the other components, you can actually upgrade the perk. <clears throat> you do have five heroes, and each has their own special ability. I think Rosie's probably the most uh, user-friendly for solo play. Um, and this game truly really seems to be designed to be multiplayer. Uh, and then you have your contracts, which once you hit level 5, you can go in and, and create or select contracts to be able to complete for additional rewards. And we'll go, we'll try to get some of these in the, in the game that we're about to do. And then you have your inbox. So, play-wise, again, controls are pretty much standard as we would have seen in, in other games. But let's just go ahead and do a quick mission. Um... We'll just do this one for example. And I'm gonna play with Jack. Now this team's got some real muscle. Now Jack's kind of squishy, unlike Rosie, who has a healing ability, but he does have the ability to rage and charge. So we'll see how this goes for us. Extinction unit. As you know, the station we call home. All right, so let's go ahead and get in our drop pod and we'll see what Makes we can run into. Let's do this. I like using Rosie because of her ability, but man, her voice acting is on gets on my nerves. I knew it's I really have irritating. Jeff is much better. So from a game perspective, uh, the map is pretty much the same map for everything that you do. It's our mission to the side missions. The comm center. But before we can get to that, we're going to need to restore the power. I've sent you the coordinates right. to the nearby power stations in the area. Get over there and be careful. Sarah out. Thank you, Sarah. So as you can see, the map is here. And it's the same map for every single mission. So from a... Uh, perspective of actually having some variety there is none uh, the only variety is the missions itself and each area has submissions for example you can go find a su su supply container or maybe finding eggs it could be different things so it's very vanilla as far as the, uh, the gameplay there's not a lot of monster variety but uh, from dinosaurs you have the t-rex you have ankylosaur you have the um, Triceratops, and you'll have your Velociraptors with some different mutations on them. So again, not a lot of variety there. But, uh, it is on Game Pass, so it doesn't cost anything to play. And it's a fun little game to, to play, uh, if you have nothing else that you're doing or you're waiting on another game to come out, so. 
the big complaints I have are just well, the map, number one. But number two, the, ma the interrupts are insane. Trying to heal or reload and monsters are on you, it's really, really rough. That's a lot of dino juice. And that's an example of some of the things the um, dinosaurs drop. Oh, I forgot about that. Looks like a nesting ground. So here's an example of an Every egg. Every time we study the dinosaurs, uh, we get scenario. a lot of useful intel. If you can, send some eggs out. Payload! There should be a couple of small ones out. I might be able to finish getting the 10 kills. I'll put the minigun without reloading. It's tricky though because you gotta pick up egg by pressing X, but X also reloads, so. Love that, thank you. Feed the uh, interrupt and find the heal. little crashed pods over here and that helps get your ammo get your healing stems and then we're back off to it there's a drone off to the side there I'm not gonna go for all the missions but Now there is an achievement for finding what's called the golden egg. I think I found the spot. camp here that you can you sometimes just see a camp that you have to actually defend to be able to unlock there it is you'll notice it when you have these two blocks to jump up and that's the hilltop where the egg spawns I've never found it but we'll see if it's up here at this time oh here it is there you go 
The golden egg. Did you shoot it? Wow. Treasure seeker. Excellent. Okay. Alright, so that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> because I've been looking for that thing for a while. We'll definitely have to load that clip separately. What's cool about the uh, this is uh, falling, if you fall too far, you don't actually die, you beat yourself up. Feel free to resupply Hopefully you'll have a healing stem to be able to heal yourself back up, but... And there are respawns, as you can see on the map. So if you actually oh, go down, there. Plug me into the console and I uh, you be can able to respawn and pick your console. respawn location. You should have one to them respawn. Oh yeah, that guy's really irritating. He brings in more dinos. You messed with the wrong humans today. Was expecting that. Uplink's good to go. Great. Hold your ground while I do my thing. Much better. No. Oh. So these little things are dinosaur burrows. Uh, they'll keep respawning if you don't actually like blow them up. The so enough damage will actually break them down, so they can keep respawning more dinosaurs. chance to be able to use healing. There's my stem. Yeah, a little bit of it anyway. Something on, got it. Yeah, never done this Great. mission before. Generator is rerouting. I am rerouting the generator power zone. Oh,
Ooh, reroute station. I'm bloody good, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This appears to be the closest one. Thank 
please, Sarah? Come on. Another generator is ready. Get to that switch. And done. Power should be redirected now. Get to the comm center and we'll see if we can recalibrate that radar dish. I know how to make myself feel good. That's like kind of dirty, doesn't it? No, I'm not sure which way to go. Just taking a guess. stronger signal in the area. Okay, find the main circuit breaker and when everything's all powered up, we'll take a look at that radar dish. I have been here before. The interrupts reload again.
Connect me to the systems console and I'll realign the dish. of the uh the action <laughs> anyway we're just going to the extraction here and it's a typical you activate it and then you get swarm situation so I've sent the raft, but it may take some time I don't know why they can't actually prepare in. ahead of time but nope we get to fight so we'll fight I want to use the exact ability. It's kind of confusing. Hold the, the bumpers until you get enough damage uh, to save that whole yank through an explosive uh, burst effect. Anyway, so if the guys are from uh, yeah, the second extension are watching, we need more map variety. The interrupts are just absolutely insane. And uh, it would be nice to have a better way to regenerate when not in combat uh, for each of the uh, for each of the heroes besides Rosie. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions regarding the game, feel free to leave comments below. Other than that, continue to watch for more Dice Junkies content. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found the content helpful. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up as it helps spread the channel for other viewers. As always, you can watch Dice Junkies live on Twitch at 3.30 Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also stream gaming content on Twitch throughout the week, so be sure to subscribe there as well. If you can, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the Dice Junkies content. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. They fucked my tomatoes up!